Hi guys, my name is Arpit and today I'm going to show you five super cool things that you can do with Google Tag Manager. Let's jump right into it. You can track visible time and hidden time on a page using Google Tag Manager. If you're currently watching this video, then it's pretty fair to say that this page is visible. However, if you find yourself being distracted and switching between tabs or browsers, then this page is hidden. Therefore, Google Analytics should not count this time. You might know that time on the exit page and the bounced page is not considered by Google Analytics. This results in skewed metrics like average session duration, average page on time, etc. By using Google Tag Manager, you can track page visible time and hidden time, thus solving this problem. Scroll tracking is just phenomenal guys. It gives you a clear indication of how much of your content is actually being consumed by the users. It also solves a problem by turning skewed metrics like bounce rate into something more meaningful. You will be glad to know that now Google Tag Manager has a built-in scroll tracking trigger. This makes it really simple for marketers like us to configure scroll tracking without any coding. To do this, you just need to define the scroll tracking depth and configure the trigger. Just last month, Google Tag Manager released their built-in YouTube video trigger. Now you can easily track your embedded YouTube videos. It has built-in events like start, progress and complete. It also supports lazy loaded or dynamically inserted videos, which is a big relief for websites that defer loading of a video until they are actually played by a user. A drop-down menu provides user with multiple selection option. For some website, tracking this information can be very useful, especially when the selection performs an action, such as initiate a download or navigate a user to another page. Tracking user selection can give you better insights about user engagement. Google Tag Manager can speed up your website by eliminating errors like render blocking of JavaScript and CSS in above the fold content. It can reduce the number of requests sent to the server by combining your CSS and JavaScript files. GTM can help you execute schema. It can also help you in managing no index, no follow and canonical tags for your website. So these were my five super cool things that you can do with Google Tag Manager. Apart from these five, if you know about anything else, let me know in the comments section. I love to hear it from you guys. If you think that you've learned something new today, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you're interested in digital marketing, you can subscribe my channel. I post useful content. That'll be all for today. I'll see you guys soon.